stay right where you are because PokerStars.net is giving away a total of $100,000 in cash to you, the viewer at home. And there's only one way to grab your piece of the pie. That's to watch Million Dollar Challenge, which starts right now. Welcome to PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. One hand, one card, one chance to change a life forever. On the line, one million dollars. It's poker like you've never seen before. At the center of the action, a man who will be your best friend and possibly your worst nightmare. Poker superstar Daniel Negreanu. First, he's on your side, helping you defeat a group of celebrity defenders and some of the best pros on the planet. Survive and ally becomes enemy. Daniel now stands between you and a shot at becoming a millionaire. One hand, one card, one chance to change a life forever. This is PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PokerStars.net's Million Dollar Challenge. As you can see, the house is rocking, and trust me, this is a poker game show like you have never seen before. Now, in the end, one of our lucky players is going to have a shot at $1 million. Now, inside our mysterious isolation booth right over there lies the secret to winning that money, but more on that in just a bit. Now, not only do the players here have a shot at big time money, but our viewers can cash in at home as well. Here to tell you more about that is my lovely co-host, Michelle Nunes. Thank you, Chris. If you're already a member of PokerStars.net, you're all set. If not, grab your laptop, get the free game software at www.PokerStars.net and wait for a big announcement later in the show. There's $20,000 on the line tonight and you could win from the comfort of your couch. So stay tuned. Chris, let's play some poker. All right, thank you very much, Michelle. It is time to meet our player, and trust me, this guy definitely has a prayer. He is 28 years old. He's from Garden City, South Carolina. And get this, he is a Catholic priest. Please welcome Father Andrew Trapp. Whoa! Hey! Excited. Father, it is a pleasure. Uh, forgive me for asking the obvious, but how does a Catholic priest start playing poker? Well, like a lot of things, it started in the seminary where I was trained to become a priest. You know, even seminarians have to have some fun, and some of the guys would get together, enjoy one or two beers sometimes, <laughs> and we would uh, have some great male bonding, you know, like playing poker. They introduced it to me that way. Have you thought about winning the million dollars and what you would do with it? Our church, St. Michael's in Garden City, South Carolina, we're trying to build a new church. Our current church is way too small. We are just over like two thirds of the way there. And I figure if I can go all the way, make a million dollars, then I can donate it to the church and we'll be so close. All right, well, let's go make a dent. It won't be easy, but to help you beat these talented players, let's bring in the star of the show, Daniel Negreanu. Chris. Daniel, how are you? I'm doing good. All right, this is a totally different show than you've ever done before. What is your role? Well, my role is to help him with his goal in the first two matches. I'll be there trying to help you along so that in the end, I have a charity of my own, I can beat you in the third round. Okay, all right, but hold on. Uh, baby steps. First things first, you have to beat a celebrity. This guy, a four-time NBA champion, my former co-host on the Best Damn Sports Show, period. Let's get ready to tee it up with John Spider Sally. <laughs> Sal, I've known you a long time. Actually, we're not going to play poker today. Uh, welcome to confessional. <laughs> so we thought it was a good time to bring you together. Yeah, I don't think this is the right place for it. But uh, if you turn the cameras off, I'd be I would love to. All right, Sal, best of luck. Uh, Father, you. as well, there's just a couple of rules. Daniel's your coach here in the first round. He's going to sit at the table. He's going to give you advice. He cannot peek at your whole cards nor your whole cards. Uh, Father, you do have one timeout to utilize at any point in the match, OK? All right. Best of luck. Let's play Million Dollar Challenge. There we go. Can 
knife that blinds out, please, at four and eight. Before we begin, could I give the cards a little blessing, please? May Almighty God bless these cards, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Let's begin. All right. right then. Well, That's the first. Hour. Did I just lose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are playing No Limit Texas Hold'em. By the way, if John wins the match, 5,000 will go to his charity, the Cedar sinai Sports Spectacular. Oh. Sal looking at ace three suited. Makes the call. Option. Father Andrew, Option. King Deuce off suit. Gets a free look at the flop. So far, so good. <laughs> a little nervous on this one. The flop comes three, four, seven. John with bottom pair. Well, the father is whiffed on the flop, but 800. looks like he's going to make a play for it. That's 800. John I do 800, and I'll raise you 1,000. I had a feeling you were going to say something like that. You look interested. You know when you're interested, you seem to lean forward a little more. Did you notice that? Or you probably didn't. But did yeah. you notice that? Oh, that's a cool observation there. I think I'll pull hold. <laughs> yeah. He, he saw that flop and John just went, uh-huh. <laughs> so that's what I do? Well, that time you did that. You mix it up. You've got like a lot of funky stuff you do. But Tell me one of them. Tell me another just one. Just right there. Well, we're not I can't tell you too many right no. now. Tell we're going to try to this. use them against you. OK. So Daniel's coaching comes in handy on that hand. Oh, <laughs> Father, 6-5 off suit. Makes the call. John wants to be a bully. I yeah, can see I do. In his eyes. I can see it in your eyes. Well, John is being a bully. He raises to 1,600 with Jack High. Well, the father grabbing chips. I call. Makes the call. John Sally did play in the 2009 World Series of Poker main event, but not against Daniel. Here on the flop, ace, three, five. So the father with middle pair. John checks. 2,000. 2,000 is the bet. Father makes it 2,000. I'm know giving Daniel going. all the signs. <laughs> you missed the first one. Hot up in here. Sal sweating it a bit. You're good. He so you've been a priest for two years? Two years, it's been great. You were heathen for a long time before <laughs> that, huh? <laughs> Sal trying mm. to make a joke. He's got nothing, though. But he's going to call. Really? I thought for sure you are going to fold. Did you? Yeah. You got me fooled now. Yeah. You know it's intimidating with you sitting to his left. He already got Jesus on his right. <laughs> 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 it is time for the turn card. Sal hits his jack. Oh, man. What should I do? Bet me another 2,000. 2,000 is the bet. I think you got it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Me too. What did you have? Did you have a? You didn't have an ace, right? So Sal wins the first two hands and is off to the early lead. Here are the rules for Million Dollar Challenge. Our player faces a celebrity with Daniel coaching him at the table. Win round one, you get a trip to the Bahamas. Round two, you face a pro. Daniel will still coach you. He can see your whole cards, win the round, and pocket 25 grand. Then it's decision time. Do you keep that money and go home, or do you risk it and play Daniel for $100,000 and perhaps a shot at a million? And remember, Daniel's pulling for you. The only way his charity makes any money is if he gets you to the third round. So he's got you about three to one in chips right now. Which means the father's got to get going. Queen six suited. A raise to uh, 4,000. Father with a raise to 4,000, more than a third of his chip stack. And John with a big hand. Raise you uh, 3,000. 3,000 more, father. All right, I better take my time out here. All right. The father using his one and only time out of the first round. Sal looking good in this hand and the whole match so far. Okay, so Father Andrew, what do you have in your hand? I just have a queen six suited, and um, I figured I'd try to make some kind of a move. You have to, really. Yeah. At this point, he's been sort of being more aggressive than you, but you've already put 4,000 in, and you've only got six left. So if you fold, you're going to be way behind, right? Right. You know, even if he has a hand like an ace and a king, he's ahead right now, but we can get lucky. So we have to play this hand for all of it. Just move it in. All right. So Daniel telling the father he's got to get aggressive. Let's see if he listens. 
All right, tough guy. He's raised you 3,000 more. I've got to go all in. All in, he's raising you back. Stick it in. The father is all in. And Sal looking for guidance from the other PokerStars.net pros. Chris Moneymaker, go. Vanessa Russo, Barry Greenstein. Who are you looking for? You got no coach? Well, I looked over here. Jesus you're left. Looking, you're looking for Phil I looked Jackson? over here. Muhammad's not here. It's just me and Buddha. So let me think what I'm going to do. It's only a little bit more, you know? Yeah, I'll go. He's calling. All right. This is the hand right here. So Father Andrew, the man who is trying to build a brand new church in South Carolina, could be down to his final few cards. We got a queen. You got an ace, all right, this is not bad. This is the kind of situation we were hoping for. He doesn't have aces or kings. You're only a little bit of an underdog. You win this pot, we so got him I, I need to pull out my rosary here and... Uh, well, if <laughs> you're pulling out rosaries... Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Um, yeah, this could be it, so... This could be it. The epic journey ends right here, possibly. After you, you know, I'll come to the church and put something in the contribution box. All right. Put a queen out there. The flop, five, king, nine. No queen, still we need a queen or a six. The odds just got worse for Father Andrew. The turn card. It's not over yet. Five of spades. Ooh, okay, now you need a spade, queen, or a six. A lot of cards. I think a spade's in there. You feel it? Feel a spade coming? No. You don't feel it, huh? Mm -hmm. Spade! <laughs> Father Andrew could be down to his final card. The river. Oh my God! Thank you, Lord. <laughs> nice, there you go. Woo! <laughs> Father Andrew's sticking around after him making a flush on the river. <laughs> there you go. For all the non-believers in our uh, viewing audience, that was a proof that God exists. <laughs> God and Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> so Father Trapp's prayers are answered, and he will live to see another hand when PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge returns. If you want to come be a contestant on the PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge, then go online and sign up at www.PokerStars.net. There are free qualifying tournaments every day. Father Andrew Trapp from South Carolina has already made it here. Daniel Legrano is coaching him in a heads-up battle with John Sally, who is playing for his favorite charity. And this match is just about even. What's your screen name? It's uh, Be Holy. Be Holy. Yeah. Yep. Be Holy raises all in. Yep. Be Holy raises. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I don't know who's responsible for giving him King Jack, but the father will take it. Let's push him around. He's going to make a raise. I'll double that. John with 10-8 off suit, makes the quick call. Remember, Daniel is coaching the father at the table, but can't see his whole cards. We can see queen 3-6 as the flop. The action's on Sal. Uh-oh, you see that? You know what that means? He's thinking about betting. He went like this. He just, oop, he looked at his chips. He goes, oh, should I bet there? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, he's going to bet. Two thousand. Daniel can't see John's cards, but he can see inside his head. You got a queen there, John? No. I have a lot of queens, man. You don't have a queen I have this Brooklyn hand. Brooklyn queens. You don't have a queen this hand. Why don't I? You do not have a queen, because I know you don't have a queen. You sure? I know it. How much you got? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a queen. How much you got? You're, you're... I got a chip on my shoulder. I'll, um, I'll raise you to 4,000. OK. 2,000. I actually got a hand here, so. Yeah. The father has said, even though he's a priest, it's okay to bluff. He just told you he has a hand. He did. It's up to you. Show me if you got a queen. You don't have a queen. And Sal gives it up. <laughs> we caught him. Nice. <laughs> there was no queen in that hand. Well, thanks in part to Daniel's coaching, Father Andrew now has the lead. If he hangs on and wins, he's guaranteed a trip to watch Daniel take on the world's greatest players at the PokerStars.net Caribbean Adventure in the Bahamas. Okay, so now you're the chip leader, right? You got him beat. Now it's time to really push him around. 
It's all about strategy. And the action's here, Father. Be a bully. Get him. Now that's a hand he can work with. A6. I'll raise to, uh... I love when he says raise. 8,000. That'd be good. The father raising to 8,000. John looking at queen three. 4,000 more to call. And John makes the call. The flop 10, ace, eight. The father with top pair. Action on John. Sal looking at his chips, even though he didn't connect on the flop. 8,000. You betting 8,000? And betting 8,000. That's more than two thirds of his stack. So the father now top pair. Calling. All right, I call. He's going to call. call. And now John please. Sally goes into the turn with less than 4,000 chips left and only a 5% chance to win this hand. The turn is another ace. So now Father Andrew cannot lose this hand if it goes all the way to the river. John checks. Now you're checking? Second ace comes and now you got scared? Mm hmm. He's only got about 4,000 left. Yeah, I don't you know should, what you, you I, should take the. You should just tell me to go all in. Yeah, you want that, huh? I'm afraid you got like an ace 10 or something. Um, I'm go all in. All in. The all right. father puts John Sally all in. <laughs> and Sal, with really no hand, but no choice, makes the call. We got an ace. It's over. Cannot win. Good job. No card that can come. Full house. There you go. Good comeback. The father completes the comeback, comeback, and he's off to the Bahamas. Good comeback, Danny. Father Andrew, congratulations, buddy. Sal, did you feel kind of like you were playing not two on one, but three on one? No, no, yeah, because the devil is beating me up now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Father, congratulations. You win a trip to the Bahamas, but up next, $25,000. You ready to go do that? I'm ready. That away. Father Andrew continues his journey, his quest toward perhaps playing for a million dollars. That and more when we come back. Welcome back to PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. Here's Michelle Noon. In less than 20 minutes, we will give you at home the password to enter a free tournament on PokerStars.net. The winner will get $20,000. So stick around and you too could take home some cash tonight. All right, thank you, Michelle. We continue on with Father Andrew Trapp, who just took care of John Spider. Sal, you feel good? Feel... Oh man, that, my heart was about to beat out of my chest there. It was. <laughs> I'm, I'm very thankful right now. Uh, yeah. You, you just really, want a trip really to the excited. Bahamas as well. Uh, I'm not going to say anything, but maybe you use a little bit of a tan. You, well, you yeah, going to take okay. the trip on your own, or what are you going to do with it? I think actually, we're like I mentioned earlier, we're trying to build a new church, so mm -hmm. I think that must be worth a few thousand dollars. Uh, maybe I might be able to auction it off to try very to raise nice. some money for our building fund. Very nice gesture. Before we continue your journey, uh, let's meet a couple of friends that you brought along for the ride. Uh, John and Lisette are with you, and you guys actually learned how to play poker from the father? Yes, he taught us. Really? Is he a good teacher? <laughs> yes. Very good. We beat him now sometimes. You yeah. do? <laughs> it's true. Lisette especially, she sees right through me, so. Now, Lisette, as we can see, uh, you brought somebody along for the ride as well. You are seven months pregnant, and what role are you going to play? I'm actually going to be the godfather of the new baby. I'm really excited. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very nice. So you are the father and the godfather. Father kind of a dual and godfather. Role. Very nice. John and Lisette, we're going to send you off to our Soundproof Poker Buddies room where you'll see the whole cards and know everything our viewers at home do. So go ahead and enjoy the match. All right, Father, you all set to meet your next defender? I'm ready. She is a PokerStars.net pro and one of the smartest ones around. Graduated from Duke in less than three years. She has won more than $2 million playing on the felt. She is Vanessa Russo. Glad to meet you. Thank you. Vanessa, welcome to the party. Hey there. As you can see, Daniel is no longer here, but he is still, he's still the father's sort of coach. He's still with us. Yeah, he is. In, in fact, spirit. He's in his little <laughs> box over there, the isolation booth. Now, Daniel can actually see the father's whole cards on a monitor. 
Daniel is wearing a headset. The father is wearing an earpiece, so Daniel can tell him kind of what to do. It's pretty simple, but you can combat that, okay? You can hit your dome of silence. Just pick up a button. You can hit that twice throughout the match. Daniel's communication is immediately cut off, okay? Okay. All right, Vanessa, best of luck. Father, you are playing for $25,000. Let's continue. Round number two of PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. So how much do you think you're going to listen to Daniel? Well, he's a pro, so... Don't I answer that. <laughs> do not answer that question. <laughs> what kind of things do you like to do for fun, Vanessa? For fun, I do, uh, I do a bunch of weird stuff. I, I, I'm uh, getting my pilot's license. Really? Um, I play the drums. Four and eight. I like learning new things. So that's basically my biggest hobby is learning new things. Cool. Oh, yeah. What about you? What do you do for fun? I like to hang out with my friends and play uh, sports, basketball and soccer. Oh yeah? It's not a great hand, but I'd still play it because it's suited. What's your best sport? Um, basketball, although I'm not as good as the guy before. <laughs> um, and uh, I like to play paintball. Okay. Like fun, yeah. The kids in our youth group call me Father Rambo sometimes, so. We will see a flop on our first hand. 10-4-6, top pair for the father. Vanessa checks. Okay, that, that's a good flop there. You have top pair, you should bet something. The father doesn't have to listen to Daniel's advice. A thousand. But he does. It's a good bet. Vanessa, who's playing for $5,000 for her favorite charity, does have an up and down straight draw and makes the call. I still think you have the best hand right here. The turn card, it's the five of diamonds. Oh, that's a great card for you. You've got two pair now. If she checks, make another little bit bigger bet. Vanessa bets. Okay, looks like she's gonna bet. 1,500. You should go ahead and raise her. She might she might have two smaller pair than you, so you should raise her at least three, four times that. Let's see if the father listens. Uh, raise whatever this is, uh, 3,000. <laughs> 3,000. He does. So now the action back to Vanessa. She does have a pair and an up and down straight draw. Okay. And she calls. All right, this is our chance right here. The river card is the king of spades. Okay, that card should not help her at all. So you want to get called here. You don't want to bet too much. You want to bet maybe five or 6,000. Let me know when you're done, Daniel. Well, Vanessa can't hear Daniel, but obviously enjoying the visual show. Vanessa checks. The father. 2,000. Will bet 2,000. Yeah, that's a value bet if I've ever seen one. Mm, I wanted you to bet a little more than that. I think there's too much in there for me to fold for real. Wow, what a sick value bet. You want me to call? I can't answer that one. I mean, you can't be bluffing here. You got it. Vanessa folds. Okay, great pot. So the father off to a very nice start. That was a good one, 14. We'll take it, we'll take it. John and Lissette in the Poker Buddies room enjoying the action. Nice hand. You know what, from now on we're gonna be able to bluff her because she thinks you had it there. And she knows you, and she knows you did. A nice pot for the Padre. Can he keep it up and continue his mission for a million? Find out when we come back. Welcome back to PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. Here's Michelle News. Right after today's show, there will be a free tournament with a $20,000 grand prize on www.pokerstars.net. So go to the website now, download the free software if you haven't already, and as soon as this show is over, grab a seat in that $20,000 game. The password is Moneymaker. Once again, that's www.pokerstars.net. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Michelle. South Carolina priest Andrew Trapp is in the poker game of his life, face-to-face -face with professional poker player Vanessa Russo. He's playing to win $25,000, and he's got Daniel Negreanu on his side, coaching him, not to mention in his ear. Are you getting nervous, Vanessa? What, what? Are you nervous? No. No? The father looks a little nervous, even though he has a 3-to-1 chip advantage. 
Vanessa, who's playing for charity in this match called No Limit, No Profit Initiative. It's a foundation which fights poverty around the world. Has 8-4 offsuit and makes the call. The father, 8-7 offsuit. It's a mediocre hand. Oh. Option, father. Check. It's going to get a free look at the flop. The flop, five, six, seven. Vanessa flops a straight. It's a very good flop for you. You should go ahead and bet something here. And if she raises you, you have to go all in with this hand. You've got top pair and a straight draw. This could really get the father in trouble. 2,000? 2,000, bet. Makes it 2,000 to go. Vanessa doing the dramatic look. Perhaps trying to set a trap. Make it four. Raises to 4,000, that is the minimum raise. Okay, stick it all in right now. Do it quick, the quicker you do it, the better. I'm all in. I call. All right, all right here we go. Oh, that was unlucky. <laughs> the father sees the bad news. Okay, we need a four or nine for a split. Let's have a four or nine. So now Vanessa has better than an 80% chance to take a slight lead in the match. Yeah, there we go. And that four will split the pot, making the river card meaningless. Phew, straight on the board. A huge sigh of relief for Father Andrew, his poker buddies John and Lisette. <laughs> yes, <laughs> even the baby hop, huh? <laughs> well, I got lucky there, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You played it right, we both played it right. It was automatic, don't worry about it. That's poker. So with that split pot, the father still retains a three to one chip advantage. What a flop. <laughs> So you graduated college in under three years? Yep, we don't have to talk about what a big dork I am. We can talk about something else. Well, that must be like genius. Uh, it's like dork. Remember, the father is playing for $25,000 in this match. Looks at okay. king seven. That's a decent enough hand to play. He makes the call. Vanessa, low on chips, seven three off suit. I'm all in. All in. You know what, I'm gonna leave this one up to you. Just go with your gut, because this is really close. If you call or you fold, I'm okay with either play. So I'm gonna let you go with your gut on this one. You might have the best hand. And even if you don't, you probably have a decent chance to win right here. So it's up to All you. All right, I'll call. Good luck. So the father has Vanessa in really bad shape. Oh, we're so Yes, beautiful. Great instinct. Thank you. I left that one totally up to him. It was like the best hand I'd seen in the big blind. Unless the father gets unlucky, he pockets 25 grand. The flop, Jack Jack four, no help to Vanessa. No three. Put a king out there. Put a four out there and make it fun. I'm nervous right now. Why are you nervous? You're in a great spot. You have, uh, you're hugely dominating me. The turn, a Ooh. deuce. And uh, now you are a monster favorite. I only have like, Three outs in the deck, so that's like 6%. You're 94% favorite. I'd be feeling pretty good if I were you. I'll feel better after I see the card. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good call. Thank you. If the father dodges a three, he will win $25,000 and have a chance at a whole lot more. The river card. Boom. There you go. Very nice. Well played. Did I really win? You really won. Oh Thank my you. God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well it's a pleasure. Let's hear it for Father Andrew Trapp. Father, you have just won $25,000. Now, the big question here is, do you want to risk it and play for $100,000? I want your answer right after the break. If you want to be a contestant on PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge, log on to the website, www.PokerStars.net. There are free qualifying tournaments every day. Welcome back to PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. Still standing here with Father Andrew Trapp, who just won $25,000, and now it is the moment of truth, or at least the moment to make a decision. Do you want to hang on to that $25,000, or... Do you want to give it back and play Daniel heads up for $100,000 with a chance of maybe turning that into $1 million? 
Before you make the final decision, let's check in with your poker buddies. They are standing by in the poker buddy room. John and Lisette, how are you, gang? Very well, hey, great. Happy. Yeah. Well, you should be, you should be. You should be very excited for the father. Uh, any words of advice? You should go for it, father. The baby is kicking. I think <laughs> it's a go. <laughs> All right. The God baby says go for it. All right. All right, so there is the advice from John and Lisette. We appreciate it. All right, Father, what will it be? Are you going to take the $25,000 you said you're putting in money to build a new church, or are you going to risk it and go for $100,000? What's it going to be? Well, here's the thing. If um, I don't go for it, you know, $25,000 would barely buy a stained glass window for this <laughs> church, and the, the church ladies would beat me up for not going for it. So I have to go for it. I'm going to have to go. All right. He is going for $100,000. Guys, let's have a seat and play a little poker. All right, guys, the rules are rather simple. Heads up poker, father, you don't have anybody to consult with anymore. So you don't have a timeout. You don't have a guy in the isolation booth. It is one on one. You ready to play? I'm ready. Let's play the third round of PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. Hello. I feel like I know all your tricks now. Yes. I was kind of in the booth watching, so. So Daniel did his job and got Father trapped through the first two matches. He now he has a chance to make $10,000 for his charity, the Lily Claire Foundation. But it's the father with a nice hand starting off. Pocket nines. I'll double it. OK, you're going to make it 16? 16. Yes. 16. Daniel's staring at a pocket pair as well. All right, let's see a flop. Call. I think I got the best hand right now. I do. But I didn't want to put a lot of money in yet. Well, that's good. The flop, eight deuce 10. <laughs> good for you. No help to Daniel. Check. The father, who said he began playing poker in seminary. 2,000. Right. That's 2,000. And now I'm certain I have the best hand, but I'll let you keep bluffing. Daniel's reading power a little off on this hand, but he's along for the ride anyway. Eight on the turn. Check. Check. And now the river. Six of clubs. I'll bet uh, 2,500. 2,500. Call. I got two pair. Eights and threes. Wow, nice hand. I didn't see that coming. I was totally booking. Wow, okay, nice hand. <laughs> I thought for sure I had him. I did. Well, the father takes the early lead, and remember, he's playing for $100,000. Was not expecting to see that. I thought you had ace high or king high or something like that. Yeah. I taught him too good. Daniel already helped Father Andrew beat John Sally and Vanessa Russo. And now Daniel looks at a big hand. I'm going to make it 2,000 total. 2,000 Father, 6-4 off suit. Looking for chips. I'll call. Makes the call. Two hands, two flops. Nine, four, three. Middle pair for the father. Nothing for Daniel. Really? 2,000. It's hard to believe you have anything down there. I, I find it hard. You, have, you don't have a three or a four. You may have a nine. That might not be good, though. Daniel makes the call. The turn. A 10 of spades. Ooh. You don't have a 10, right? The master trying to get inside the head of his former pupil. I'll check. Check. OK, I'm going to bet 2,800. Daniel making a move. Sort of find out if you have anything. Daniel putting the pressure on Father Andrew. He's reaching for some chips. And makes the call. All right. This is a huge pot. More than a third of the chips are in play. Good call. The river card. Queen of spades, no help to Daniel. The father. I'll check. Checks. Well, if you have the pair of nines, you're going to win the pot. I check. 
Or if you have any pair, for that matter. Four. That's good. You're ace jack. No, I have ace high. Thank God. Oh, wow. I thought maybe you had a flush draw. Father Woo! Traps parishioners are starting to believe. Wow. A tough man to beat. The poker playing priest has God on his side and two thirds of the chips on the table. When we come back, see if he can finish it off and win 100 grand. Welcome back to PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. Amateur poker player Father Andrew Trapp from South Carolina facing Daniel Negreanu. The father is playing for $100,000, which he promises to donate to his church. Daniel is playing for $10,000 for his charity, the Lily Claire Foundation. The father has a three to one chip lead. I just gotta remember to breathe, right? And the father with reason to be nervous. If he wins the match, he will also qualify for the final table and play for perhaps a million dollars. Looking at Jack Six offsuit. Call. Okay. And making a call. Okay. Daniel getting a free look at the flop with King Nine offsuit. The flop, Queen Seven Jack. So the father hits middle pair. I'm gonna bet 800. Daniel bets 800 with a gut shot straight drawn and an over card. Okay, I'll double it to 1,600. The father raises to 1,600. Call. Daniel makes the quick call. The turn card, Daniel makes is straight. Check. Check. Oh, you didn't like the 10? The river card, a three of hearts. Action on Daniel. I'm gonna go all in. Go in. You got a good hand? Only have a pair. A jack. So it's one of those situations. I'm either bluffing or I'm not. Yeah. Put the coin. One of those spots you gotta go with your gut. All right, I gotta try. I got it. I call. All right. Got straight. Woo! Yeah. A bad turn card for you. So by winning that hand, Daniel has almost even the match. My gut was not correct that time. No, you're 50% you're, you're now with your gut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually why I said that, I'll be honest. Oh, Daniel trying to get inside the father's head. See, what I was figuring is if I said that again, it worked for you last time, you might go with your gut and call again, and since I had the straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a little good. reverse psychology Very good stuff. psychology, yeah. Daniel, 6-5, offsuit, makes a call. The father, Jack, 8, offsuit. I call, uh, check. Checks it down. The flop. 8-4, deuce, top pair for the father. Check. I'll bet 2,000. Daniel bets 2,000, needing a 3 or a 7 to make a straight. Go all in. You're all in? The father not messing around, putting all his chips in with top pair. <laughs> this is a close one. Oh boy. If I can catch a five, a six, a seven, a three. Daniel doesn't seem convinced the father has an eight. <laughs> oh boy, what do I do here? I wish you wouldn't have done that. You told me I gotta be aggressive, so I'm trying to, yeah. you know. But you're kind of bluffing right now, right? Like, you don't have an eight. Or do you have a pair of eights? Oh, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> uh, I'm open-ended. All right, you know what? Oh, I've changed my mind four times already. I got, what do I got? Oh, go with my gut? My gut says I'm gonna hit it. I call. Oh. All right. I got a straight draw. This could be it. Oh, you do have the eight. Man. Oops. You taught him too well. I think so. He made a good bet. You taught him too I didn't, well. I didn't expect you to go all in with that hit. So you fooled me. 
Your gut said, make the call. My gut said I'm gonna hit it. I still think I'm gonna hit it. What's your gut saying right now? I'm gonna hit a three. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. You need a seven or a three. Yeah. Or the father is gonna pocket $100,000. And we'll see him in our final show and he'll play for perhaps $1 million. Hold on, let me get out my Rose Regan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, we're good. Let's see the cards. Ooh, two pair. Overkill. Not gonna be easy until I see the last card. I hear you. It is down to one card. Unless Daniel hits a seven or a three, the father will win $100,000. Can't even look. Oh, so close. Congratulations <laughs> to Father Andrew. $100,000. Father, congratulations. Thank you. All right, dude. All right. <laughs> now you got a shot at a million, too. Father Andrew Trapp, a job well done. I mean, let's be honest. In the beginning, you even said you were shaking a little bit. We saw your hands. You're going against one of the greatest poker pros around. And here you are, you pocket $100,000 for your church back home. It's one of those thank you, Lord moments, you know? So You had a pretty good professor over here, yes. did you not? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Daniel. You got it. So, what's going on in your head right now? Um... My mind's just spinning right now because uh, I just can't believe it. $100,000. That sounds pretty good. How's a million dollars sound to you? It's going to sound even better. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, once again, let's hear it for Father Andrew Trapp. Wins $100,000. We will see you in our final show, and we will see you next time when somebody else tries to pocket $100,000. Catch you next time on PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge. Father, uh, congratulations. Pleasure. What are you great. Really. Were you nervous about him making that call? I was. I didn't want to go all in on just an eight. eight. I thought you had a two or a four, and then I, you know, if you want to be a contestant on PokerStars.net Million Dollar Challenge, log on to the website, www.PokerStars.net. There are free qualifying tournaments every day. Got a winner.